look, congratulations to, to Thad and his, his staff and his team. Um, you know, we, we did a great job in the first half. We were fighting. We, we showed some physicality. We were, we were organized. Corey had a nice uh, first half of scoring for us. We need to get more than one, heck, more than two. Sometimes, uh, most times, we need a third score. We can't even find a second score most, most nights. But, um, you know, at least Corey carried the banner for us uh, offensively, scoring-wise. Um, and our game plan was to attack the basket, play on the perimeter, move the ball, slash. Uh, obviously, we don't have post-up players or post-up schemes. Um, we had some changing of the defenses that I thought we adjusted pretty well. We, we did some things new. Um, but, you know, they came out more aggressively. And a team like that, you know, you know once, once they taste a little blood and, and a little let down, they get after you. And so they did a good job in, in early in the second half doing that, took us out. Coach, was there a second half surge more basically on the defensive side of the ball or, or the offense, would you say? Um, well, you know, when um, it was both. It was both. Their length, um, they really, you, you can see that they amped it up a little bit more on both ends, their intensity. And with, with those type of athletes and, and them, um, you know, smelling a little blood, smelling a little, um, you know, not, we weren't physical enough in the second half like we were in the first half. And they felt that, they, they smelled that sort of uh, timidness that we had. And uh, they just rode the wave, you know, they got better and uh, they started playing at the rim. That's one thing we wanted to do. We wanted to not give them rim, rim um, scores, you know, let them play off the dribble, shoot off the dribble, play off the three. But they did what we didn't want them to do. They started playing at the rim, posting us up, driving, lobs, transition. And that's how it got away. Just wonder, looking at Ohio State, they were coming off a pretty significant loss. Did you look at them on film and think this was a vulnerable team coming in? Um, well, you know, we, we go into every game thinking that we have a, if we do things right, almost perfect, we have a chance to win. And we're just not uh, that type of team right now. But I don't go in a game thinking, oh, uh, they had a bad game against Illinois or uh, not Illinois or Indiana and think that we coming in and um, we can just roll over them. No, I don't think that way. But we do think that we do things right for us. And right now where we are, it's about us. It's not about so much game planning for the other team. There are, there are some game planning schemes, but you know, our 1-3-1 one, one was different. We just put that in this morning. I thought that was very effective, you know. And they got a hold of it. They started throwing lobs, which was the vulnerable part, you know, skipping a lob pass when you got a five, I mean, five a six-foot guy at the rim, and they're throwing it to a guy who can jump who's six seven, six eight, seven foot. Just doesn't, we can't catch up with that. So yeah, Jaquan Lyle for them with a the triple double tonight. What did you see from him on film coming in, and, and, and what did you think kind of compared to real well, life? Well, first of all, I didn't think he was that that had that size. I mean, on film, he didn't look that big, and his size was a you know a determining factor in his effectiveness. He got um, getting that last dribble, and all of them, if they get that last dribble underneath the free throw line, extend it, they're at the rim, and we couldn't contain that early enough. And his spins, his drives. Um, his size hurt us because, you know, our guards, I mean, we're playing small as it is, but he took advantage of it. He was the st straw that stirred the drink tonight, no question about it. 